Hello, I am Thekla Petridou. Today it's Friday the 22nd of November 2019. This is my YouTube channel where every Friday I upload a video in English, a vlog, a video blog. This uh, Friday we have a vlog request by a viewer of our channel who has intrusive parents and she's addicted on shopping and of course she's Greek. Uh, of course, about the intrusive parents, <laughs> because uh, as we are, uh, as that we are Greeks, we know very well that intrusive parents are part of our culture, as well as in other Mediterranean countries. Hi, Thekla. I studied psychology as well. Good for you. So you are a fellow psychologist. My family supported me financially to do my master's, which I completed. Well done. Since then, I'm working in a job not exactly into my area, but very close to mentally unwell people. I feel stuck. The last year I can't find something better and I don't want to return back to Greece. Our friend who sent the email, she studied in the UK and she currently resides and works in the UK. I come from a small city where opportunities for work are rare. I know very well that my parents will provide for me the basic. Furthermore, they complain most of the time for me in order to save money and get married. They say I should be already married years ago. My main problem is that I have a shopping addiction. Well, now I understand that every time I buy something I should give away because there is no more place in my room. This situation makes me feel embarrassed because I can't invite someone in before I sort all of my clothes out. Last year, I was still biting my nails and with a lot of pressure, I managed to stop it. Our friend is around the age of 30. This summer, I got very bad comments about how many clothes I have and how I don't save all my money. They were shouting at me and maybe the, na the neighbors heard of us fighting. This summer she visited uh, her hometown in Greece and she had fight from the, her parents about how many clothes she owns. This winter they wanted to come and visit me, but I'm really not in the mood to deal with them. I know my problem, I still try to solve it, it's difficult even though I do psychotherapy. And she's fro she lives in UK and, and the exact age is 32 years old. Well, 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 intrusive parents. Parents that uh, continue to believe that they have the right to intrude their, uh, their children's lives, even though their children are adults, their children are adults, they have completed their studies and they are working. This is something very usual in the Greek temperament and in the Greek family structure. And uh, the latest years that uh, there is financial crisis in Greece, this has increased because uh, many young adults, even though they are well educated and they are willing to work, they do not find easily uh, a job. And even if they land a job, the job uh, gives them very little money. So a lot of uh, Greek young adults uh, still reside with their parents and the parents uh, treat their, uh, most, of the, most of Greek parents tr treat their adult children as if they were teenagers or even children. Now, uh, as a direct response to the lady who wrote the email, um, you have two issues, my friend. The first issue is your parents and how to deal with them, which is an issue that many of us um, face during our lifetime. Um, it's not a secret about my story with my parents. Um, since you are Greek and maybe you have r r read my books, you know that I also come from a very controlling family and uh, I had to fight um, for years in order to gain my emotional independence because even though you can have financial independence as you do now 
Emotional independence is something difficult to achieve for, from parents who are controlling and intrusive. At the age of 32, it's okay that you're single. It's okay you're not ma- that you are not married. It's okay that you don't have life savings. What's not okay and what, the, what um, uh, rules under the... Um, what can be ruled out as a disorder is you, are, is you being a, sho- a shopaholic. I went online and tried to find any resources in the UK about shopaholics. Um, I encourage you to do so. Uh, I found a couple of institutions that they have specific programs um, designed to help shopaholics to fight the addiction of shopping, of shopping, and I strongly recommend that you uh, look for these programs and join one of them. I've seen on their web pages that uh, they might even cooperate with the NHS system. So look for it. I, I I'm not sure about uh, because I don't know personally these uh, agencies. That's why I do not mention the agencies on the vlog. But the same way I contacted in Google search, you can also contact a Google search or web search and ask your GP or ask for resources in your area in order to um, be in a therapy group about shopaholism. And there are also, they, they also have programs that you go and stay in, in, in their uh, institution in order to be um, detoxified by shopping. Uh, being a shopaholic is uh, is an addiction and as every addiction um, you need to be um, genetically predisposed uh, in order to to have an addiction and uh, under an under an addiction lays um, and depression and depressive feelings mild depression is usually one uh, disorder that is co-diagnosed with addictions. No wonder why you feel depressed, because your family are not happy with you, they are very judgmental of you, they shame you, they, they intrude in your personal space, they want you to live the, your life the way they want, and they do not uh, seem to respect your own desires and your own wishes for life. This is a very common problem in Greek families. Uh, I've heard of it, I've seen it um, since I've worked for 20 years as a private psychologist in Cyprus that my client, most of my clients were Greeks. Uh, I've seen it many times. It's something very common in our culture but it's a problem, and especially for you, it's a critical problem. Um, it is obvious that you have an addiction because you have some signs of the addiction. You, do, you did not mention in your email how much money you spend on clothes and on shopping, but you have some signs, like the one that you do not invite any people in your room until you sort out the clothes, or the other thing you mentioned that um, you, you understand every time you shop something that you should give it away because there is not enough room. Um, I, do, I cannot make a diagnosis from you from a video in, on YouTube, but I, I am pretty sure that the signs are there. And since you are a psychologist yourself with a master's degree as well, uh, I think you are right when you say that you have a uh, shopaholism. Psychotherapy uh, is uh, uh, very helpful for everything that you face and especially for strengthening your inner self, for loving yourself, for um, obtaining a higher self-esteem and being able to uh, prioritize your life and stop your parents from intruding your privacy. But for shopaholism, you need to get specific help. Um, if uh, if you if you have have you visited me um, two years ago or three years ago uh, when I was still working as a private psychologist, uh, I would I would tell you that I was I wouldn't be able to help you with shop addiction. I would refer you to go to a specific institution where they do this job. It's difficult 
to manage shopaholism. It's as difficult as manage alcoholism, as managing any other addiction, like gambling, for example. It's an addiction. It's a disorder. It's, a, it's like a disease. It's not a disease, but it's like a disease. So um, you should ask for specific help about this issue. Uh, as for your parents, my opinion is that you do not listen to their um, requests or their shouting or what they try to impose on you uh, to move back to Greece. Uh, it's better for you to stay in the UK, try to battle your addiction in the UK where you have more resources rather than uh, the resources you, you would not have have you moved to Greece, have you moved back to Greece. Stay in the UK, my opinion and my advice, stay in the UK, battle the addiction and uh, try to obtain your own social circle there. I know it's not easy being a stranger, a foreigner in, in a foreign country, but I suppose that you've been there for at least 10 years, so you speak the language much better than me. So uh, you might be able to find friends from your work environment or from your neighborhood or from any activities that you engage and uh, focus on yourself and focus on you getting better not on pleasing your parents because tra focusing on pleasing our parents is a recipe for destruction of our lives i will repeat this focusing on pleasing our parents is a recipe for this contraction of our lives. Thank you for listening to me. If you liked my video, you can please share it with your friends or subscribe to my channel. And every Friday, I upload a video in English with me talking English, speaking English as a second language. It is very obvious. My first language is Greek. Have a nice weekend, everybody.